Oh my goodness! Oh, you poor little guy, are you afraid of me? Don't worry, little fella. My name is Benjamin Clawhauser. Are you lost? Hey, little guy, you're so cute. What's your name? Ah, don't eat me! Ah, don't be scared, little kitten. I won't eat you. The big giant cheetah will make you happy. And by the way, we're gonna be the best of friends. You can join me at the Zootopia toy shop, or we can go to the bowling alley, take a walk on the beach, or go to the donut shop. Oops, sorry, that's my stomach. I'm just so hungry for donuts. Oh, uh, what's your name, little kitten buddy? My, my name is Timmy Turner, sir. Oh, Wanda, look, the giant cheetah is so friendly, I love him. Oh, maybe I can give him a great big hug. Cosmo, no! Stay here and be quiet! That's a pretty name. Hey, what's in your pocket? Is that a mouse? No. I mean, yeah. They're mice! And these are my toys from, uh, from Mr. Rogers' Neighbor Zoo. The what? Oh, look, a bit on his chest. Do you see those toys? Yeah, I don't know, remember? Maybe I had too much lemonade. Or, of course, we watched too much Gazelle again. Hey! Wake up, buddy! We have to work to do, so come on! What do we have to wear a girl who remembers himself as a child? Don't worry, Angry Cupido. Hey, Freddy Cat, do you find it a memory for a little Clawhauser? I, I, I c c c c can't find it, Happy. I found only scary memories, like when Clawhauser was attacked by King and Grey. Anything else is a donut and that's you. <laughs> ah, I found it. Mr. Rogers Davis Zoo. All that long memory storage I was really worth it. Good. I knew that you could find it. Finally. At last, something beside for the pop star and food. And hurry up. We've been starting under the cat for too long! Uh, Ben? Are you still there? I've had the same expression for five minutes! Hello? I remember that show. I have not seen it since I was a little kitten. Wow, that's a darn huge cell phone! It's a beautiful day in this neighbor zoo. A beautiful day for a neighbor zoo. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Hello, boys and girls. I'm very happy to introduce my two new friends to my neighbor zoo. Princess Wanda and Captain Cosmo, the pirate mouse. Howdy, Roger. I'm Wanda, and I love cookies. Arg! I'm Cosmo, the terrible pirate. Those puppets are quite scary, if you ask me. Wow, I never thought I was famous way before Timmy. You see, before I became a ZPD receptionist and a number one or number two gazelle fan, that show was my childhood. Every day I would watch that show when class was over. Oh, those were good times. What about you? Do you have any good times? To be honest, I've had the worst day of my life. <gasps> but, but how? How could you have had a bad day like this? What happened? Well, it all just became wacky. At home, my father couldn't lend me his lawnmower because he was too busy being jealous of my neighbor, Mr. Dinkleberg. So I had to cut the entire lawn with a tiny pair of scissors. Then when summer began, my parents brought me to Flappy Bob's Happy Peppy Day Camp. They even forced me to watch this tedious six hour documentary about prairie dogs. What's the point in that? Hey, I got an idea. How about I could be your babysitter? I'm okay with kids and I could make you happy. Thanks, Ben, but I already have one. She's called Vicky and she's the meanest babysitter ever. All she does is try to make my life a living nightmare. How could she? As a great police officer, I would put her in a maximum security cell. I don't think you can. She's a threat to every kid. No, because she uses me as a table. <laughs> she orders me around like a slave. Listen up, twerp. I want you to clean everything in the house. And I don't want to see a single speck of dust or any side of dirt. So do it now. I was so depressed after all that. 
I went to the window and started to cry. This is so unfair. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Timmy. If there's anything I can do to help, you just ask. <laughs> but... I'm so sorry. I've always hated such sad stories. Aw, there, there, Ben. Don't cry. Hey, I could be your friend. What do you think? You... You do? Of course. You're a nice cheetah officer. I could be your friend with no problem. Aw, thank you, Timmy. How about you come to the ZPD with me? I'll introduce you to two officers and my best pals, Judy and Nick. Wait a second. Did you say Nick Wilde the Fox? Gotcha! Ah! Wowzers! We may be fairies, but that fall sure smarts! Ouch! You've tried my patience for the last time, and now I'm gonna finish it! Oh boy, now I'm screwed! Hold still, punk! Give me them trousers! <coughs> and this is for making that prank! No! Hey, are you out of your mind? What do you think you are doing, my little buddy? Shut up, you blistering idiot! Mind your own business, fat cat! Jeez. He dropped his wallet. Let's see. Wait, what? Nick, you might want to see this. Wait, is that Timmy Turner? But in this picture, he has no fur on his skin. He's, and he's completely different. Who is this kid, anyway? Hey, hothead chubby fox! Hi, David! What is it now? Have you guys seen something like this? It says it comes from... Dimsdale? Don't ask me, I don't know where he came from. Speaking of which, don't even think about getting away this time, kid. Whatever you are, you're coming to the station with us. Wait, don't you think he's a little too young to go to jail? Shut, Shut up, up Clawhauser! Judy is looking for the small kitty cat, Timmy Turner. Huh? Tell us the truth, Timmy. Spit it out! You better not try any more shenanigans, or else I'll... Nick? Finn? Gideon? What's going on here? Oh, carrots, you're finally here. We were just taking care of business. Why? I gotta be honest with you, Judy. I don't know who that kid is or what he is, but I know he's up to no good. Why did you guys put Timmy in this small cage, and why is he in his boxers? Because he's here to kidnap you, that's why. That's ridiculous! Why would Timmy do that? Oh, I believe it, sweetheart. I even heard every word he said when I was in the alley. Plus, we got... this. The carrot pen! No, please! I can do anything, anything for you, I swear! But please, don't press that button! <laughs> Scared, aren't you? Sorry, Beaver Cat. It's time for our beloved officer to know the truth. Please, no! <laughs> Starting now. Hi, I'm Nick Wilde. I'm a blistering idiot and I love to dance in my boxers. Judy is a complete idiot with no future. <laughs> wait, wait, what? Excuse me? Uh, hold on a second. I trapped this kid in a cage because cats are evil, and I hate cats, and I hate Timmy Turner! But... I didn't say any of that? Give me that, you dumb fox! Let me handle this! Hi, I'm Gideon. I'm a stupid and dumb country fox who makes threats towards others with my claws. Huh. What? I want you to remember the next time you think you will be more than just a stupid. Carrot farming, dumb bunny. What? Well, that is. <laughs> Gideon Gray, how could you? You said that you've changed since I was at my parents' farm. No, Judy, I swear I didn't say that. Please let me. Don't touch me. I guess deep down inside you're still a major jerk. I think it's for the best if you don't talk to me anymore. But, but. Why? How? Where did this gibberish come from? I'm Finnick. I wear diapers and use my elephant costume because I like to be a baby. Goo goo gaga. Can anyone change me? What? Also, I picked my nose and cleaned it on that cheetah's dinner because I don't like fat mammals. Black, for heaven's sakes, what is wrong with you? 
Huh? B but that's not me. I'm okay with mammals calling me fat loving donut cheetah, but no one messes with my donuts. But it wasn't me, I swear. <sighs> I already know who's buying this. Oof. Was that you this whole time? Poof, poof. Gimme! <laughs> oh, thank you so much! Poof! Oh, poof! I'm so glad you're okay. But never ever fly away from me again! All that happiness from her doesn't last long. Uh-oh. Ah, that's a big angry fox! Uh, you! Uh-oh. Poof, I think you took it a bit too far on him. You ruined everything! Now thanks to you, Judy hates me! Hey, it's not my fault you keep blowing a gasket almost every time! Can you put me down? Uh, fine! Thanks to you, Punk, everyone thinks I'm a crazy and nasty fennec fox. This is all your fault. Oh, what makes you think that, little guy? Don't call me little! That's enough, Punk. Tell me now. How did you do this? How did you manage to change those recordings? Enough! I have just had enough of you three stooges. All I wanted to do was to bring Judy to Dimsdale for the Easter Festival. But all I got for my troubles was a group of foxes chasing me at every corner! That fox is always angry at everything. The midget fox, I don't even know if he's a fennet fox with two big ears or if he's really a chihuahua. And finally, you, Reynard, the- uh, Enough! Oh, wow, halitosis. You want to take carrots to this Dimsdale? Fine. But if you really want to so badly, you have to accept the fox versus cat duel. The fox and cat duel? Oh, oh my goodness, this is so awesome! The fox versus cat duel? Fox versus the cat? Yes, this it's a traditional game commonly known in Zootopia history. Typically wild cats against savage foxes. I hope you listen well. It was a traditional battle that originated in the Middle Ages. A clan of foxes and a clan of cats had at every year a traditional battle to see who holds the title of the strongest group. It was originated by a legend during the Oriental times, when two spirit animals, one in the form of a cat, the other as a fox, had a fierce battle. Since then, even during our primitive times, every time a fox and a cat come face to face, they would fight until one of them stands victorious. Also, in 1863, the leader of a family of foxes wanted to take a poor group of cats to be his slaves, but the family leader stopped this and told him if he wanted them so badly. They had to settle this in a fair game. A game of cards. If the fox wins, the cats would be taken as his personal property. Otherwise, he could be banned from it. This story is a legend of this very day. Go, go, foxes! Go, go, cats! Uh, why don't we take this to a more modern manner? We can do this in the Cafe Arcadia. How about it? Right. Now listen up. If I win this challenge, you can choose to be arrested for a lot of things you've done, or be banned from Zootopia forever. Unless you want to call it quits. Oh yeah? Then if I win, Judy will come with me to Dinsdale. Capiche, Mr. Reynard? So, this seals our deal? Deal. And now it comes to this. Who's gonna win this battle? The sly fox Nick Wilde or the energetic cat Timmy Turner? Will Timmy bring Judy to Dimsdale for the school's Easter festival? Or will he be banned from Zootopia or arrested? Stay tuned for the next exciting adventure of the Fairly Oz Zootopia!